Hey guys, today I'm cooking very popular and amazing paneer tikka masala with aromatic flavors and spices. For the chicken lovers, you can replace the paneer with chicken and follow the rest of the steps as it is. Also, I will be serving this dish with softy and minty multi-layered paratha. So let's dive into these delicious recipes. To begin with paneer tikka masala, first we will marinate the paneer cubes. Here I took 500 grams of paneer cubes and in a bowl I will add yogurt, gram flour or chickpea flour, now add some spices to it. Mix everything well and then add paneer or cottage cheese into it. At this step you can also add bell pepper cubes and onions. I prefer my paneer tikka masala this way. But I would be definitely added them if it is a kadai paneer dish to give a bold flavor to this recipe. I also use lemon juice to add tang as my yogurt was very fresh. Do not use it if your tomatoes or yogurt is sour. Now mix all of these ingredients very well and leave it to marinate for 30 minutes. Meanwhile, we will prepare the gravy for the paneer tikka masala, but before that we will slightly roast 3 to 4 tablespoons of chickpea flour until it turns golden brown. add little oil or butter to a non-stick pan and cook the paneer tikka you can also stick the paneer cubes on skewers and grill them or bake them i prefer to do a pan fry flip them often on all sides and cook on medium heat till all the marinade dries up and the paneer turns nicely golden at the edges Heat the oil in a large saucepan large enough to hold the gravy and the paneer cubes as well and now add some whole spices to the oil Next add chopped onions and fry until transparent or light golden add ginger garlic paste and fry until the raw smell goes off this step is very important as the smell of garlic may not be good in this dish then add all the spice powders Saute the spices for 1 to 2 minutes. Pour the tomato puree to the pan and be careful it will begin to splash out of the pan so it would be better that you can partially cover and cook it. 
cook the masala until the oil extracts from it and you will begin to get a nice smell of the masala. Now we will add the roasted chickpea flour to the masala. Adding this will make the gravy smooth and enhance its flavor. Add some water to bring to a desired consistency and now we will cover and cook the gravy for another 10 to 15 minutes on low flame. In restaurants to make paneer tikka masala, paneer is first marinated and grilled in a tandoori oven or clay oven which imparts a great smoky flavor. Since we don't have such tandoori ovens at home, this step replicates the taste of tandoori paneer tikka masala served in restaurants. Make sure that the charcoal is not touching the food and when it starts emitting smoke, cover it immediately and leave it for 5 minutes. This is called coal smoking technique or dungar technique. Now let's check on the gravy. It is well cooked and you can see some oil separating on top. Add slitted green chilies to it. Add the pan fried tikkas in the gravy, gently mix and make sure the gravy is thickened before adding paneer. The flavour and taste of this dish is unique from other paneer dishes. Garnish paneer tikka masala with fresh coriander and serve it hot with butter naan, roti, jeera rice or with an absolutely tasty whole wheat mint lachha paratha or parota, which I am going to show you how to make it next. To begin with, we need 2 cups of whole wheat flour. Now we will add some spices to the whole wheat flour. The flavour of the mint is so refreshing that it will enhance the paratha and make this dish even more tasty. Also mint is my favourite. Also this is a lachha paratha which means that it has a various crispy layers of cooked flour. To attain that we will add clarified butter or desi ghee into it and then we will knead the dough. Knead the dough until smooth and soft and make sure to let it rest for 10 to 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, put the dough ball on a clean surface and then using a rolling pin, roll it into a thin roti. Spread 1 teaspoon of clarified butter, ghee or oil on the rolled roti. Sprinkle mint leaves and wheat flour on it. Now hold the roti and fold it alternatively till the end. Slowly and gently roll the paratha from one end till the other end. Flatten the rolled paratha and then dust it in flour. Again using a rolling pin, roll the paratha and then repeat the same for the rest of the dough balls. You can see the beautiful layered paratha after you roll it. Heat a tawa or pan and add rolled layered paratha and cook on one side till you see bubbles.
Flip the paratha to other side and apply some oil, butter or ghee. Again flip it on the other side and apply ghee. Flip it again and again till the paratha is cooked completely and are nicely brown in color. The multi-layered mint lacha paratha is now ready to serve. So friends, relish this mint lacha paratha with delicious and smoky paneer tikka masala with your loved ones. This flavorful dish is simply superb. Do try this delicious feast and make everyone fall in love with this meal. And subscribe to my channel for more amazing recipes.